Hey yo, welcome back everybody to another Terraria video. Not a part of Game Raiders Week. I know it's a sad thing, but we are here and we're gonna be checking out infinity gauntlets that are in Terraria mods. From what I know, there are only two right now. So one of the gauntlets is added in by Thorium and it is not fully implemented into the game yet. The only way you can get it is by cheating using cheat sheet or heroes mod, some sort of mod that allows you to spawn in items. And there it is right there, beautiful. Just the gauntlet itself, no stones in it yet. Let's go ahead, let's check out the other mod, which is elements awoken now this one is fully implemented you can get this the only problem is the wiki page isn't really complete so i have no idea how you even get some of these stones but yeah let's go ahead we're gonna put these to the test against enemies and see which one's the better one so we're gonna start with thorium since this is the one that is not fully implemented we're gonna start with it because we don't know if it's as complete if it's as strong as a fully implemented one but we're gonna put all the stones inside attempts to eradicate half of all living things now is this really true we're gonna put this uh theory to the test all right so one more thing i want to put in here this is post commentary while i'm editing the video i just want to say that all six of the stones added in by thorium they all have a special ability and you can find all those special abilities on the wiki we're gonna go down here and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spawn a bunch of npcs you know get a bunch of npc houses down and then we're gonna spawn a bunch of monsters via statues and then we'll see what it does all right so we have a good bit of npcs set up and we have a couple of statues here set up in a box let's go ahead let's flick the lever a couple times we're gonna see if the gauntlet wipes out half the universe or half of all living things or if it's just a lie okay it did wipe out half of the monsters the npcs though left around three health but they're pretty much dying and i like the noise it makes It isn't killing the NPCs though. So you can tell that obviously it's not fully complete, but let's see here. We do five, that's 10. Oh, that killed a little bit more than half of those guys. That killed a little bit more than half of them. Oh, dude, just kill all of them now. <laughs> now the real question is, does this work against bosses? Let's summon in the King Slime. Probably easiest one to test it out on. It does work on bosses. So the real question on top of that real question is, does it work on a strong boss? Let's do Kakatar. Wow, it's really strong, but obviously I'm assuming since it does say reality breaker, it's either going to be like a cheat item, which it kind of is right now, or it's going to be an item you get for finishing Thorium's like whole entire boss list. All right, so we're going to be looking at the Elements Awoken Gauntlet now, which you can only carry one stone at a time because look what happens when you carry multiple. I'm in God mode, so I probably won't die if this is supposed to kill you. But yeah, let's go ahead and take all this out and let us craft the Infinity Gauntlet part two. Boom, and it's deadly nice. So the forces of the elements combined has the effects of all the infinity stone. Right click to switch modes. We're in the desert mode right now. So it rains desert shards. So let's go ahead. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna put this to the test. Now this one, in my opinion, is a lot cooler, but the thorium one obviously isn't complete. So we don't know how crazy that one's gonna get. Let's go ahead. All right, I guess this is not the most effective weapon, but if they come over here, I'm sure one of the things will go inside. There we go. Come on, get in there. Yes, sir. I don't know if this is a post Moon Lord weapon or what. I'm pretty sure it is because it's a pretty strong weapon. It only says it does 100 magic damage. That's without any buffs or armor. So damage is going to be low. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's put it against a boss like Kakatar. At least let's put this mode against Kakatar. So the desert shard mode isn't the greatest against Kakatar. But let's go ahead. We're going to switch to the fire mode. Fire is a fireball, believe it or not. Okay. Let's switch to the next mode, which is sky. Fires a sky bolt. Okay. Pretty much the same as the fireball. Right click again. Frost. Summons a shield around the player. Okay, I like this one. This one seems pretty cool. Do I only have to click it once? Oh, you only have to click it once too. Oh my God, it knocked him out of the box. That That's how you know it has some power when it knocks an enemy out of a box. Water now, water turns projectiles into bubbles. Oh, okay. So is this like the, uh, it's kind of like the reality stone then. So let's see if we can get these guys to throw a projectile at me. Throw something at me. Throw something at me. Maybe it's because I'm in God mode. Throw something at me. Throw something at me. Throw something at me. Throw something at me. All right, we're gonna test it out on a boss. The projectile part against a boss that shoots projectiles. Uh, do you sh shoot projectiles? Kind of. That projectile did not turn into a bubble. Maybe we get him to second form. <laughs> I don't think those turn into bubbles. I feel like maybe I'm doing it wrong. 
so right when he shoots ah uh, okay but that kind of sucks <laughs> i guess if you're playing against a projectile hell boss though that might be really good but it does have a 20 second cooldown was that 20 seconds i don't know so you have to do it right when they're shooting at you so maybe during a projectile hell boss you can turn all of them into uh, bubbles which wouldn't be bad for like a second but if it's a projectile hell boss they're just gonna shoot more projectiles right after so okay it seems okay it doesn't seem like the greatest but yeah moving on to the final one the void stone kills half of all non-boss monsters with under 10,000 health okay so this pretty much does what the thorium one does Oh, it kills them in a cooler way, though. It doesn't just kill them. It They just vanish from existence, which I like a lot. So, yeah, it seems like, obviously, the, uh, I don't know. The Infinity Gauntlet from uh, Elements Awoken seems pretty good. <laughs> but the one from Thorium can kill bosses with just one snap no restrictions on it either but obviously the only thing that's keeping these two apart is availability we don't know when the thorium one is going to be available we know this one is available we just don't know how to get the stones because the wiki doesn't have the pages updated but still it's available it's implemented without having to cheat so it's seeming like the better choice but the fact that the thorium one can just you know snap everything away in one snap besides besides npcs it kills bosses in one snap it kills monsters in one snap it's pretty good this this one obviously has a restriction of the 10,000 health stuff and uh, non-boss monsters, but it does have six other modes where you can do other things. So in my opinion, just for now, until the Thorium one is fully out, I am putting Elements Awoken's Infinity Gauntlet above Thorium's Infinity Gauntlet just for now until we see Thorium's Gauntlet get some updates and obviously it being added to the game completely. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a fun video to make. I really enjoyed both of these items are so cool the infinity gauntlet in general is just super cool because it, I, I mean it's just cool it's cool looking i love superheroes like, what else is there to say but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe because that would help me out a lot and also i love you guys no homo because i didn't say it in the last video and somebody called me out on not saying it i'm sorry i love you